What do you, what do you mean? What you talking about? No. That, that don't make any sense. Why are you going to say that? That's that's not what I'm that's not what I'm talking about. You know what? All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, Grandpa, how's it going? Hey, I was wondering if I can come by and visit you guys tomorrow. Will that be all right? Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you then. No, 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 I don't need none of that mustard and mayonnaise on there. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to your grandmother. Huh? huh? No, 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 you know that fuck with my high, my cholesterol. I don't need none of that. Yeah, yeah, well, come out here and bring me out this ham sandwich. Well, fine, then leave it in the microwave. All right, bitch. She just go in the house. She's in the house. But this is uh, after 45 years of marriage. You don't want to see that bitch's face again. You already know what it looked like. Look like green beans and spinach. So what's going on, on Claire? Why don't you come over to see your granddaddy? Doing all right. Just come and check on. How you guys are doing? That's all, man. We we doing like peaches and herbs. That's good. Yeah. Not the old ones. The new ones. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. I heard you got this uh, uh, relationship problem. Would you oh, like to? Man. Yeah. Would you like to discuss it over a game of uh, Connect Four? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Now, what seems to be the problem, young player? Nothing much, man. Just relationship. What's going on with this relationship? Nothing much, man. She's like really on my case. She's looking at through my phone, she's, you know, wondering what I'm doing at night, when really I'm working, you know, it's just constant trouble with her. No. Sounds like you got a piranha. A what? Yeah, a piranha, you know. She just feast on all your shit, you know what I'm saying? She just bite your ass all, just rah, 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 rah. She mean, have you ever seen the movie Cool Joe? Yeah, I seen that movie. Ate that damn uh, mailman's asshole, didn't he? Yeah. That's what your girlfriend gonna do to you. Yeah, that's what she's pretty much doing. She's pretty tired of it. <clears throat> I don't know why she's doing that. Well, you gotta understand, son. Women don't make no damn sense. They do a lot of stupid shit. I asked your grandmother the other day to give me here. You know what she said? She don't do it because she Christian-like. I said, well, then cross your ass out. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Tell you, gotta understand, son. It's crazy, Grandpa. You know, yesterday I called her on my phone, and she was checking out my messages and seeing if I was talking to any other girl. Checking out your messages on your phone. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. Oh, well, did you have any other bitches in the phone? No. Good, good, that's good. You don't want to get caught. You, know, you don't want to ever get caught. Don't ever let the bitch catch you with the other girl on the phone. And even if you're fucking another bitch, don't let that bitch know that. You don't, you don't be telling you, you don't be feeling bad or shit, because I cheated on your grandma a couple of times. And keep it on the hush us. Where you be going? Man, last, last week I went to this club. It's called Cheetahs. It looked more like cougars. Them bitches was ugly as hell. Goddamn, I want to see a stripper. <laughs> I don't want to see a pile of them motherfuckers. Had more wrinkles than me. So, so what do you think Grandma got to say about this? What do I think Grandma got to say about this? Yeah. You really want me to know what Grandma got to say about this? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let's call the bitch. Since we having a man-to-man -man conversation, you're going to bring your grandma up so much. All you got to do is go inside and No, I, no, I don't want to see that bitch's face for about another 35 minutes, okay? Let's call her up. Ellis. Your grandson 
obviously misses you because he's been talking about you all goddamn day. What do you mean it's good? We probably don't have a man-to-man -man conversation out here. Huh? Bitch, ain't nobody want you. Yeah. Is my sandwich done? Did you toast both sides of the bread? And put that little pickle stuff on there. I don't know, relish, whatever the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. Love you too. Bye. Stinky bitch. You got a special huh? sandwich or what? Yeah, it's a BLWT. What's that? It's a bad bitch with lettuce and tomato. So how long have you guys been together again? Listen, son, we've been together for about 45 years. And 43 of them years I hated this shit. Okay. But I learned something. It's not the fact that you love them. Okay, you love your girl. Yeah. You love her. Okay. It ain't about the love. It's who you feel comfortable with. You feel comfortable with the bitch you stay with her. You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you what you need to do to fix these situations? Okay. What I need to do. Okay, first lady, now listen closely. Come in, come in, come in a little bit. Listen closely first. First what you do is you go to the house, right? Okay. You open the front door. Now go to your kitchen. You get the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay. You go into the bedroom, right? And you take the top of her bra and you just cut it off. Okay. And now she might get scared at this point. So when she turns over, you just have the knife right at her face, okay? And you just hold it, and you just deep breathe over her, just real tight. Just keep deep breathing, okay? Then when she says, what are you doing? Because she gonna say, what are you doing? You say, bitch, if you talk to me crazy one more fucking time, then you just slowly ease off her ass. Put the knife back in the kitchen. Then you turn on the Barry Manor mode. Boy, hold on, Barry Manilow. Yeah, yeah, after you, basically, after you didn't scare the shit out the bitch, you romance her. She'll never say anything like that. She'll be so fucking confused. Yes, I tried that on your grandma. That's why the bitch in there making me a sandwich right now. <laughs> yeah, tell you. You gotta be crazy to these bitches, man. You gotta be crazy on these hoes. Oh, excuse my mouth. God, give me. <laughs> I'm a fifth Sunday and shit. What's the good stuff about your woman? Tell me the good stuff. Really, Grandpa, man, there's no, there's no good stuff. Mm. At all. Nothing. Pussy ain't good. I haven't even... Yeah. She won't even let me get it. She says I gotta sleep on the couch. Oh, on the couch, huh? Yeah. On the couch. No, no, hold on. Now, let me ask you this. Is, is, is it her place or your place? This is my place. And so, so you got to sleep on the couch? Yeah. Okay, well, then if you sleep on the couch, tell the bitch to sleep outside. <laughs> right, because, you, you know, you don't have the fucking bed all to this bitch. So what type of bed you got? You got a king size or a queen size? We got a king. You got a king. <laughs> Built for a king, right? <laughs> Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Do it for a king. So, I know with you being married for 45 years, you had to overcome a lot of things. So, how oh. you cope with it? Well, one thing I had to overcome was jumping that broom. There was only one thing that kept me and your grandmother faithful after all these years. You got it? Let me get it for you. These vibrators, man. And you you got to get your girl on these vibrators. This is the dick special. Please. Hold on. I think she calling me right now. What's her name? Her name's Capri. Capri? Yeah. Like Capri? Capri, son? Like... Yeah, Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know what happens with a Capri, son, right? You know, you first start drinking it, you enjoy it, and it be all good, and you even play with it a little bit, you blow it up, and you drink more juice, and the juice gets in your mouth. Then the motherfucker's gone. And then next thing you know, you got to get a new one. So you need to take that fucking little Capri and get a new one. Because her juices is all ran out. You got to know, you got to get you one like a Pacific Cooler. Instead of the, the Hawaiian Kiwi. No, those are the good ones. I like the Hawaiian Kiwi. But, you know, they run out so damn fast. You, you, you know, never know what to do. What does this have to do about Capri? Uh, oh, well, 
But shit, I thought we was getting on the juices and berries. I'm gonna tell you what you should do with Capri. You grab that bitch by the back of her head and chop her right in her fucking throat. No, I'm not trying to catch a case. What case? What case? Lower case or upper case? The upper case. I think you should get that bitch an uppercut. That's what I'm saying. I understand, I understand. You love her. And that's all that's gonna matter at the end of the day. I tell you, unless you want to kill the bitch, and you know, I've got the Swiss Army knives like I was telling you, bro. You know, it was good to see you, grandson. Yeah, I always love to spend time with you. Know, I, you know, I never get a picture of you. I always wanted a picture of you. I'm a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a picture for you, okay? All right, now, come on. Now, let me get my... And then, now, I want you to smile for the camera, okay? What, wait, Grandpa, what the hell is that? What? What? What, what the problem is? That looked like a prehistoric camera right there. That, yeah, let me it's put It's like a dinosaur, right? Yeah, Jurassic Park, yeah. Or Jurassic Park, mm. Well, you fuck up this picture, I'm gonna bite your ass like a Jurassic Park. Now smile for the camera, boy. Thanks for watching. But if you're just watching and you're not liking or subscribing or commenting, we're gonna have a problem. Go ahead, share it, like it, like it, share it, share it, like it, subscribe.